interactive experience. Uh, I mean, really, I think that's the, the main thing is uh, we provide an experience to people that they can take share and so they can reflect on. And um, we also not only do these grand gestures, but we do smaller features like at the gas company um, complex in downtown Los Angeles. It's a small, serene fountain with little, tiny shooters. They only shoot at maybe like you know a couple inches high, and it's one of the most serene fountains I've ever seen. It's pretty spectacular. And then we do obviously the grand fountains like the ones in Dubai, the Burj Khalifa. You know, that's 30 acres of water and just water, you know fountains that shoot water that shoots 500 feet in the air, and uh, that really showcases what we can achieve. And it's it's beautiful. Obviously, these are optical quality lenses, and um, light that is several thousand lumens, you know, that uh, is required to make these amazing shows. So the lenses have to be as clear as possible. And uh, we also maintain a wet standard that, you know, if it's not done correctly, then it's not done at all. Uh, we visited several vendors and manufacturers of EDM machines firsthand and uh, took a look at their capabilities and we had them, you know, wire cut or sync parts for us and uh, show us exactly what it was. And we had Chris, you know, take a look at the control and play with it a little bit and see, you know, what he thought about it. And I mean, most of the other manufacturers were pretty standard and he had familiarity with their controllers. Uh, the Makino one was unique because it, it basically, it looks so simple to use. So as an operator, Chris, who was used to, you know, other machines of, uh, that are a little bit more antiquated, it, it kind of struck him back a little bit because it, it seemed like it was too easy, you know. And, um, um, from the actual guts of it, I mean, it has a current operating system that is serviced uh, when compared to other, um, other manufacturers of uh, EDM technology. Um, it also provides a unique icon user base uh, UI, which enables uh, you know, a layman to kind of figure out exactly how to get through a system. It's almost like an iPad. It's intuitive. Uh, well, just from a part per piece, just plastic injection molding, uh, we've seen significant cost reductions, um, upwards of, you know, even eight dollars per part reduction in what we were seeing when we were purchasing from an outside vendor. Uh, from insourcing EDM technology, obviously the scheduling is, you can't quantify that because now you've improved, you know, weeks at a time and that has no, you know, designated numbers attached to it. Uh, and that's probably more important than the actual cost savings of outsourcing is the capability and the schedule gain. But from a cost perspective, I mean, for every job, we're probably saving you know thousands of dollars in EDM outside EDM work. I mean, in this machine, we're looking at a projected ROI of probably two and a half years. I mean, what's important to us is you know we have to manufacture molds uh, to a high degree of accuracy, and Makino has provided us the ability to do that. And uh, the customer support that we received and the knowledge base that Makino has with their technical staff has you know far supersedes anyone else on the market, in my opinion. Um, so what's important to us is, you know, we're able, we're able to manufacture these molds to produce a product to meet our uh, customer scheduling commitments on time.